Hey friends, welcome back to this homeschooling naturopath. My name is Hannah and I am a homeschooling mom. I have three little girls who are nine, eight, and six, and I'm also a fully qualified naturopath living and working in New Zealand. On this channel, I share content related to homeschooling, homemaking, motherhood, as well as little tidbits of naturopathic info throughout some of my content here. In today's video, as you guys probably guessed from the title, this video is all about what is a naturopath, what does a naturopath do, and how do you become a naturopath. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, keep watching. Deep in the shadows, I know it's All right, hard. so what is a naturopath, what does a naturopath do, what is naturopathic medicine, and how did I become a naturopath? Um, so obviously here on my channel, it is called this homeschooling naturopath, um, and that is because I am a fully qualified naturopath. Now here in New Zealand, and this will differ whichever country you are in, I know in the United States every state is different when it comes to this, um, and you know every qualification will be different. Here in New Zealand, um, in order to become a qualified naturopath and work in clinic with patients, um, I went to a naturopathic college for four years in order to get a bachelor's degree in naturopathic medicine and clinical nutrition. That is the title of my bachelor's degree. Um, and I'm specialized to work with children in particular. So um, I, I feel like this is like a, a, one of the misconceptions that... Um, I hear sometimes from friends and family when they um, when they hear that I'm a naturopath, they're like, oh wow, and they assume it's like a three month course online or something like that. No, um, I studied for four years and I have a full bachelor's degree in naturopathic medicine and clinical nutrition. Um, throughout my four years of study, some of the things that were covered, some of the papers, um, nutritional biochemistry, um, anatomy and physiology, human biology, um, biological chemistry, pharmacology, pathophysiology, counseling theory is also very important to a naturopath. Herbal medicine making is a really big one. We learned all about um, harvesting plants and making our own herbal medicine as well as administering herbal medicines. Um, diagnostic testing, so a big part of what a naturopath does is analyzing a patient, taking all the diagnostic tests necessary, like for example, blood pressure, um, you know, heart, heart rate, all of that type of thing. Just to name a few of the papers and um, courses that I had to do throughout my four years. Um, and then finally, um, toward the end of your four years, you do six months of clinical practice in clinic with a mentor side by side um, where you take on real patients of your own and you're expected to do everything you would do normally with your patient um, under the supervision of your mentor. So what then exactly does a naturopath do? Well, and this is my personal definition, <laughs> um, a naturopath is trained to do pretty much everything your local family doctor would do. Anything you would go and see your local family doctor for, you can go consult your local naturopath for as well. Um, for example, a first time client is coming to see me and they have a mysterious rash that's just appeared out of nowhere. Um, they, it's itchy, it's inflamed, they don't know what it is, they've never had it before, as an example. Um, what I would do if this is a first time client, I would have them fill out a huge summary of their health pretty much up until that point. Um, and this could be like quite a few pages of stuff, a lot of questions, um, as well as giving me the information on their diet. Um, so I will sometimes ask my patients to fill in like a three day what they ate um, type of thing or if they don't want to do that, a 24-hour recall is also fine, but basically I need a very good in-depth look at your health up until this point. Often a client will fill out a lot of detailed forms before they come in, and then when they come to see me as a naturopath, um, I will always allocate a new patient at least an hour and a half minimum. An hour and a half to two hours is a good amount of time to really get to know this new patient. Um, and this is something that's very, very different to your local family doctor. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I've gone to see the local doctor, I'm in there 10, 15 minutes and they want you out. 
and it's very difficult to describe in depth what I need, what I want to say, um, and it's very hard for them to empathize or you know, really care about your situation because they're just trying to get through all the patients as fast as possible. Um, when you go to see a naturopath, you get a lot of time to express all of your concerns. If you come in for this mysterious rash, we are going to talk about way more than just this rash. A naturopath looks at your holistic health because everything on your body is connected. This mysterious rash didn't just come up on its own, something caused it. Um, a naturopath will never just prescribe you a cream and say, see ya if it doesn't go away. No, um, a naturopath looks in depth at what the underlying causes may be. So with all of the forms that you have filled out, we will go through these together and really discuss all of these things, all of these things in depth. So childhood trauma, um, any recent trauma you may have been through, um, how stressful is your job, how stressful is your home life, um, how stressful are your finances at the moment, um, what is your mental health like, what has it been like throughout your life, how are you sleeping, what are your bowel movements like, in, like in-depth, you guys, like I, I, I want descriptive in-depth <laughs> of bowel movements because they are so, so important. And if you are a woman, what is your menstrual cycle like? And again, like in depth, you guys, um, how regular is your cycle coming? Has, how long has it been regular? If it's irregular, how long has it been like that? What's your sleep like? What time do you go to sleep? Do you wake in the night? What time do you wake in the morning? Do you wake up feeling tired or do you feel refreshed? What does your tummy feel like after you eat? What, do you, what is your mood like after you eat? Do you feel energized? Do you feel sluggish? All like, there's so many things, you guys. I could keep going on. You get the idea, right? A naturopath seeks to identify any underlying causes of this mysterious rash as our example. I will also uh, look at any medications you are currently on, any medications you have been on in your life, any surgeries, any um, vaccines, any any type of anything, you guys. Um, diet, what type of food are you eating? How often are you eating? Do you think that's enough? How much water are you drinking? Um, whether you're a smoker or a drinker, all, all of these things, right? Because all of it is connected to your overall health and well-being, psychologically, physically, mentally, and spiritually. You are a whole and anything going wrong in any of those areas will impact your physical health in some way or another. Whether it shows up in the form of a rash or, you know, any example, bloating, um, severe PMS, hormonal disruptions, um, mood changes, depression, anxiety, um, trouble sleeping, like all of it is encompassed into one thing, which is you as a whole holistic person and that is something that is very different if you want to compare naturopathic medicine to conventional medicine from my experience going to doctors in the past um, I, I've never been given that long with my doctor to explain all of these issues which are very well and truly underlying issues to this symptom that you are experiencing. Naturopaths do not aim to treat the symptoms, they aim to treat the causes. So once we have sat and had a chat for a good hour and a half, I will do some diagnostic testing and this really depends on um, the symptom that you're coming in for or the underlying causes that I'm suspecting. So potentially iridology. Um, most naturopaths are trained in iridology, which if you're not familiar, it is literally looking into your eyes and um, seeing any trauma that is left in your eyes, which sounds wild. Um, I have to admit iridology has never been my strongest interest point but that is an option when we are looking at diagnostic testing. Um, looking at your skin, what your skin is like, if you're coming in for a rash, that's a really big sign of, you know, potential liver or kidney issues that may need to be addressed. Things like um, examining the fingernails, examining the tongue, the gums, um, like the, the skin in general on your face. There's so many diagnostic tests that 
can be utilized by a naturopath and that's something that I, I just I love um, because our toolbox as a naturopath I just there's a never-ending supply of tools that um, I can use if necessary for the situation your naturopath can get referrals for blood testing so I am also qualified to refer refer people to get blood tests uh, referring for any kind of testing that I think may need to be done if you are experiencing a lot of bloating or discomfort after eating we can um, sort out some allergy testings and things like that um, things like testing the bowel um, getting like swabs and and all types of stuff like that done any kind of testing that a doctor can refer you for a naturopath can also refer you for so once we have got all of these tests underway once we have sat and had a chat for a good hour and a half to two hours and once I have established all of this information about who you are as an individual that is when I go away and do my detective work so and it's funny too because when I was a kid I always um, I wanted to be a crime scene investigator. I, I was obsessed with CSI. You, you guys know CSI. Um, and I, I honestly, I had like, it was part of my life plan. I wanted to grow up and become a crime scene investigator. Although I know now that I definitely would not be fit for that type of work because I am far too empathetic and I, I take on so much of my client when I am with them. Um, there's no way that I would have it in me to be a crime scene investigator but what I love about being a naturopath is that I do detective work in a um not in a crime scene investigator way but once we have sat and chatted for all of that time and I've got to know you I've got to know your health and who you are once all of our test results have come back in that is when I can start being a detective and piecing together all of these little pieces of evidence take everything look at it all holistically and I can try and figure out what the underlying cause of this rash or whatever this symptom is, you guys, of this digestive upset, of um, of this increased bloating, of this insomnia, of these mental health issues, of this increased anxiety, depression, any symptom that you are having that you would normally go see your local doctor for, okay? Um, and so I'll look at all of the pieces of evidence. And once I'm confident that I have figured out what some of the underlying causes of these symptoms are, I will make a plan specific for that patient. This every single plan that a naturopath hands out is incredibly specialized for that patient. Um, every plan is made specific for the patient so that it is achievable because obviously that is what we all want, is something that can be easily achieved. I typically have three sort of sections that I um, recommend in my plan. The first one is lifestyle. So, and I mean, again, it's very specific to the symptom, um, but things like lifestyle changes. So, you know, maybe if the person is a smoker, we can look at options for um, ceasing smoking. Maybe if the person is a heavy drinker, we can look at what options are out there to help and support that client. Um, if the person is having trouble sleeping we can look at different methods and different modalities that could help support that person's sleeping habits so you know things like turning off your phone at a certain time not watching tv past a certain time doing relaxing things an hour prior to bedtime to really wind your body down meditation yoga making sure you're getting enough exercise making sure you're drinking enough water all of that um, comes under a lifestyle factors and again, this is very specific to the client and the symptoms, all of that. So lifestyle factors are a big one. Um, the next one I recommend under is supplementation. So if there is any obvious nutritional deficiencies, and these are these become quite obvious um, when you've been working as a naturopath for quite a long time, nutritional deficiencies come in the form of many different types of things that are very physical and very obvious to a naturopath when looking at someone. Um, and this again can be easily figured out by diagnostic testing. Um, but also nutritional deficiencies can be noted when doing your blood testing. So if your blood tests come back and it shows that you, you know, are very low on vitamin D or your iron is really low or anything like that, 
Supplementation can be a very beneficial one when it comes to deficiencies. A naturopath can prescribe supplements um, that will help to balance out all of those vitamins and minerals and all of that. And then the third category is, of course, diet. So part of my degree, like I mentioned before, I'm specialized in naturopathic medicine and clinical nutrition. So nutrition is a huge one, and that is the third category is diet. So looking at what you may be eating that may be triggering this rash, which is the example I'm using for this video, I guess. Um, what have you eaten recently? What are you incorporating that you know maybe you shouldn't be? Are you eating too much sugar? And as a clinical nutritionist, I'm able to work with my clients toward eating better if that is their goal. So the three categories a naturopath will usually recommend on is lifestyle, supplementation, and diet. And so those are kind of the three categories that a naturopath can work with to guide the client toward better <laughs> overall well-being. Once this plan is put into place and the patient is all set up with their, their plan and their diet recommendations and their supplements and their lifestyle recommendations and all of that, it is obviously up to the patient to do with all of that what they can, what they will. I always ask that my clients book another appointment with me in a month's time to see how they are going. And of course, I am always on a call available to talk to my clients whenever they need, if ever they have questions, if ever something else comes up that they need help with, whatever it may be. Um, a good naturopath will always be available to their clients that they are working with at the time. So in a nutshell, what a naturopath does is very similar to what your local family doctor may do. However, the exception is that naturopaths cannot diagnose illness. That is the biggest differentiator is that if you go to see a naturopath, they cannot legally diagnose an illness. Even if they've done all the blood testing, if they've ordered all the blood work and you've got everything done through your naturopath, you still will need to go to your local doctor to get a full written diagnosis because legally we cannot diagnose. And the other very big difference um, between your um, naturopathic practitioner and your local doctor is that naturopaths do not prescribe pharmaceutical medicine. A naturopath will only prescribe naturopathic medicine, and this can be in the form of supplementation, again, depending on what your blood tests come back with, depending on what your skin and your eyes and your tongue and your gums, and all of that is telling the naturopath um, supplementation may be necessary if there are gaps in your diet and things like that. Homeopathy is an incredible one that is very useful in a naturopath's toolbox, as well as flower essences. And of course, um, my favorite modality to use and to prescribe to my patients is um, herbal medicine. So herbal medicine is incredibly powerful. Um, and if you look at any type of history of pharmaceutical medicine, you will see that most pharmaceutical medicines out there are based on something in nature, are based on some type of herbal medicine that is like thousands of years old. <laughs> Some naturopaths I have met make herbal medicine themselves in their own homes. I personally do not, well, I mean, I, I, do, I do make some natural medicine, but only for my family. I would never prescribe it to my clients. There are two main herbal medicine dispensaries here in New Zealand that as a naturopath we um, have access to and can prescribe to patients. And it's all very dependent on what the um, patient has come in for and their needs and um, their budget and all of that. So that is something that I love about naturopathic medicine and about being a naturopath is that there's a very clear expectation. Um, a naturopath prescribes naturopathic medicine and you will never see a naturopath recommending any type of pharmaceutical if a patient comes in and it looks like it is out of the scope of the naturopath's practice, then most certainly I will always refer that patient on to their local doctor. Um, it's very important that I make that disclaimer. So a naturopathic practitioner really uh, is able to integrate the best of science and the best of ancient healing arts all in one. And of course, every naturopath, dependent on 
where they live and where they're from, they may use other types of naturopathic medicines. For example, Ayurvedic medicine, ancient Chinese medicine. Um, you know, here in New Zealand, we have um, Rongoa Maori, which is the native um, ancient plant medicine of New Zealand. And there are a lot of Rongoa Maori practitioners here in New Zealand that may not be, you know, qualified as naturopathic practitioners, but nonetheless, they hold all of this incredible, like ancient knowledge from their ancestors that is just so sacred and beautiful. So in short, um, a naturopath really does whatever your local family doctor does. However, like I said, we cannot diagnose illness and we do not, under any circumstance, <laughs> um, prescribe conventional pharmaceutical medicine. You can visit your local naturopath for any health concern that you may have, you know, whether you are struggling with fertility, whether you want to do a, um, a weight loss diet and you're not sure about it. Naturopaths are trained in nutrition, so certainly um, if weight loss is what you're interested in, we can help support you on that journey to that. If you are struggling with a long-term illness that has been ongoing your whole life and you've never been able to find answers in conventional medicine or you're not happy with um, the medications that you keep being recommended, you can visit your naturopath and they can help support you through that. Whether you're interested in doing a big detox and you're not sure and you want some support, your naturopath can help with that. Whether you have been recently diagnosed with, um, you know, mental health issues, whether you are struggling with anxiety, depression, insomnia, any type of thing, uh, you can visit your local naturopath for and they are just some of the best people out there, you guys. Even though I am a qualified naturopath, um, you can guarantee that we have our own family naturopath that we visit. Um, she is incredible. I have been working with her for years. Um, I think like going on like over seven years now. <laughs> um, we, any type of health concern that comes up, you guys, I am on the phone to her. Truly is a support person and that is what I always strive to be with my clients. I'm, you know, a constant, a someone that they can call when they need help with something going on in their health. All right, you guys, I hope that that answers some of your questions that you may have in relation to what is a naturopath and what does a naturopath do. As you can see, it is a very broad, um, profession. There is a lot involved. Um, there is a lot that goes into it, a lot of time and effort and education, um, practice, knowledge, wisdom. Um, there, there's a lot, a lot of effort and a lot of time spent. Um, and it is not like some hoo-ha, crazy, um, you know, wizard type of thing. No, like all of the naturopathic medicine that I use and that I prescribe to clients is very much backed by a lot of scientific research and thousands of years of use. So that's more that can be said for the average conventional pharmaceutical medication. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope I answered any questions you may have. If you have any others, please comment down below or flick me a message and I will be sure to answer any questions you guys have on the topic. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye! Deep in the shadows, I know